Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Alari from Cook Scrap Craft and I have a haul video for you. Haven't done one of these in a while because I had so much stuff that I was working with out of my Paper Issues warehouse box, but now I'm ready to get some new stuff. So here it is. Um, we are working on, actually, I think I did make a purchase, didn't I? Did I do an, a haul video for October? I think I did. But, you know, I didn't get a whole lot. I got some of the, I got the main character energy stuff from Chamel. Um, but I think I mainly just got a lot of that collection. So now I'm getting some other stuff. So these, basically what I'm getting for November is stuff that had been recommended by Chamel and her best of both worlds kits. Kits, I, I say that lightly because they're not really kits. They, you know, you can go to a scrapbook store and try to find those exact same pieces. You could order those exact same pieces through scrapbook.com or something. You could try to find items from your stash that sort of go, that are sort of similar to what she's recommending. Um, or, yeah, I think those are the two options. <laughs> so um, I, I like looking at her lists because I sometimes think it makes it easy to, to just have someone tell me, like, buy this. Because there's so much stuff that I want. I get a little overwhelmed. So some of this is from her list and some of this, um, well, I'll tell you as we get into it. So I don't even remember what list these were from. This is just a catalog. Ooh, a gift guide. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I'll have to look through this, see if there's anything in here that I should put on my scrapbook.com wish list. I like giving my scrapbook.com wish list to people, my dad, because um, I know he'll buy exactly what I want from the wish list and get some new scrappy goodies for Christmas and my birthday. Okay, so I don't remember how far back I this this Chamel goes. Um, so I don't remember when she recommended this, but she did recommend Simple Stories, the flea market collection. So I've got the enamel dots, which I really love these colors. Like this is a great color scheme. And then the sticker book. I love the Simple Stories sticker books. I have gotten many of them in the past. They're just so, see there's letters, two different types of alphas, some like random circle things, some stuff that has words on it or things you could use for journaling. Like I just think they're a really great collection of stickers. And I mean, you could, there's the other alpha, you could just buy this and not buy any of the other stickers from the collection. But like, I mean, why would you do that? You want to have a nice selection of things, right? But anyway, but I, I do like their sticker books. Um, so that's from there. Those are some of the embellishments. And then these are scrapbook.com alpha stickers. So they're kind of bluish with like a darker blue polka dot. Um, it's not a very big assortment of letters. I mean, there's three, but three of each. Oh no, four S's, but only three T's. Hmm. There are five E's. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, all right. And then two of the, the ones toward the end. Cause like, do I really need three W's? I don't know, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, these are just scrapbook.com. They were like a dollar 99. So I always like to have a fresh sheet of alphas starting the month off. And then I'm saving these for a second. I'll get back to them. I promise. So let me take this out. What do I have in here? I think this is all paper. Okay. So let's start with these because these go with um, this. So this is the home run collection from Cardabella. And I got this because I still have baseball pictures from August 2022 to scrapbook. So this one is... Um, yellow green very easy to name because it's just solid colors so I don't know what side I'm going to use but I got two of them because I need to do a two pager so that's what these are for and then to go along there there are more papers somewhere in here but to go along with that I got the enamel dots from that collection as well as um these die cut cardstock pieces there are 34 pieces in here there are a couple other I think I got a sticker sheet um I don't, mm, I'm going to have to look because I know, I thought I had ordered more. Maybe I didn't, but just to have some, a nice assortment of embellishments to go along with that. And then I know I saw, here it is. Here's one of them. Um, another one of the sheets from the home run collection. It's got baseballs all over it. And then this one is a pattern. I'm not really sure what the pattern is supposed to be. Maybe like the stitching on a baseball, but it's sort of like a greenish color. So I'll probably end up using this side. Um, let's see if I can find any of the other home. Here's another home run collection. Oh, and here's the sticker sheet. All right. So this is the sticker sheet. I did get it. 12 by 12 stickers, lots of different things going on here. 
baseballs, things with words, just symbols and images. Um, so I really like that adding with, adding with these. I like to have a nice selection of embellishments. I really do. And then this one is also from the home run. It's called the all-star page. So you've got the stripes, red and white on this side, and then just like baseball symbols on this side. I, that might be, I feel like there should be another sheet somewhere in here. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, yep. Here we go. Oh, I got two of these. I actually don't remember. I just placed this order. I don't remember these, but this is the red black. This looks more brownish than black to me. I don't know. What do you guys think? In IRL, in real life, it looks brown. Um, but again, got two because I am I need to do a two-pager. And, and at the time, I just didn't really know which one was going to be for what. I had to do a two-pager and a single page. So, um, oh, maybe there's the other one. Here we go. Yep. See, I knew there was another thing. And then this is called Play Ball. So this sort of looks like baseball diamonds, but made with um, baseball bats and the little baseball. And then this has the gloves on it. So a nice selection of papers and embellishments from the Home Run Collection from Cartabella to get some baseball pictures scrapbooked. So expect to see process videos for those coming up this month. All right, and then everything else is Chamel recommended, but it's just general and generic and whatever. So this one is Paige Evans, American Crafts Blooming Wild, number one. So this has some cut aparts on it. I, when you buy enough from a certain manufacturer or designer, you kind of become accustomed to the way they design stuff. So I feel like Paige always has a sheet that's like this with three by four cut aparts at the top and bottom, some like strips, and then little taggy things here. There's always one of these style sheets in her collections. And then of course the branding strip goes all the way across, which I love, and it has these buttons. And this is sort of like a plaid, plaid, right? um pattern which is really cool this one is over the rainbow from doodlebug designs and it's got this fun rainbow cross stripe thing which i love this is cute too sometimes doodlebug gets a little too cutesy like eh, eh. i like this i like this side a lot better more rainbows from doodlebug again over the rainbow stripey rainbow which i love and then this side is it's a little saint patrick'sy day right little uh, saint patrick'sy St. Patrick's Day. Um, but, you know, some of these, if you wanted to, you could fussy cut them out. But I'll probably end up using the stripes. And then Simple Stories Flea Market. So going along with the embellishments from before. These are a, a sheet of cut aparts. This one's called Journal Elements. So obviously the journal elements are on this side. And then there's a pretty floral on this side. One thing I do wish is that their branding strips would go all the way across. But no big deal. Simple Stories Pet Shop Cat. So obviously this side, oh no, I thought one of these had, one of these sides was like specific like catty, but it's not. So we've got these really great sort of rainbow hearts. This is called Catitude. And then the other side has rainbow stripes, which I really enjoy. All right, again, Simple Stories Flea Market. This one's called Four by Six Elements because these are four by six elements. Um, these are great for doing journaling spots. Sometimes I like to use them to frame a photo as like a matting. Uh, some of these are a little weird, like this. I don't really know how I'm going to use that one or if I will, but luckily the other side is just a really nice grid, like a sort of a teal with a dark blue stripe. This paper, I think is another Paige Evans. Yes, so this is Blooming Wild number six. So I love these rainbows. You could fussy cut these out too. That would be fun. I actually have a die cut that kind of makes... Um, rainbows like this. I wonder if I should break it out for this. And then this is just a floral. Okay. And then this side is Blooming Wild number 13, again from Paige Evans. So you've got all of these really great tags you could use for journaling, you could use for layering, really fun. And then this side um, is just like a blue, dark, like a navy blue on a light blue with some florals and hexagons, which is kind of cool. You could even use these for gift gift tags um, if you wanted to. You know, Christmas is coming up. They're not Christmas colors, but you know, whatever. Now this one is Echo Park and it's all about a girl. And so I love, I love Echo Park. Um, they have really great clouds and little raindrops with hearts. And then the other side is a purple on purple with X's, which is kind of fun. Um, again, I wish that the branding thing would go all the way across. Cause like, this is just wasted. I mean, you already told me on the other side, this is heartfelt sky, but like, you're telling me here what it is, manufacturer, blah, blah, blah. You could just extend this all the way across. Just saying. 
They're not asking me, I know, but Maggie Holmes for American Craft. So this one doesn't say, this is from the Parasol Collection, and this is called Blooming. Obviously, these flowers are very blooming. And then this has a really cool, like, sky background to it. So that's kind of fun. I wonder what I might use that for. I don't know. I got to print some more photos. Um, but I'm still trying to get through Disney January and the rest of February. So... If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on process videos using these products. This is Paige Evans number 16 from Blooming Wild. So really pretty butterflies that, again, you could fussy cut out if you wanted. And this is, oh, I love this, the wavy lines with the pink. That's really cool. And it just keeps on going. We got another Paige Evans Blooming Wild. This is number 23. More rainbow stripes, but these have little flowers on the insides. And then this is just a tone on tone. It's actually very floral looking. If you can see, it looks like flowers. So anyway, and then almost done. We've got number 10 from Blooming Wild. Again, rainbows. So I guess Chamel was on a rainbow kick when she was recommending all of these for the best of both worlds kit. And then this is flowers, but it's sort of like an ombre this yellow to orange to pink, back to orange, back to yellow, which I really like. I think this is really pretty. And I love the branding strip. I love how the branding strip is, is kind of different, but it still goes with everything. That's really fun. And then the last one is Simple Stories Flea Market. This is Tell the Story. So it's got these old, old tiny cameras on one side and then like a ledger on this side, um, which I like. I like, I don't really use the ledgers that much for you could use this for journaling, or this is a nice, I consider this a solid, so you could use this to mat photos, um, but I, I think I might definitely use this. So, that's my stuff. This is all part of, or was all part of, a Best of Both Worlds kit, and then this is for my baseball stuff. So, I hope this inspires you to, like, get out and purchase a couple things that you like from here, and as I said before, I'm going to do process videos using these products, so stay tuned to the channel, and let me know down in the comments below what your favorite scrapbook manufacturer is. I told you Echo Park was one of mine. Let me know who yours is in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!